You know it's a lot of fun? Imported plushies, particularly from Japan. Now, there is one teeny weeny little disadvantage to those things. See this guy over here? He cost me 45 bucks at a convention. Introducing the Takaratami Pokemon, the 15th movie, Keldeo plushie from ShopPro. Boasting an impressive 8.5 inches in height, this creature boasts an impressive likeness to its counterpart, Keldeo, from the 15th film. Everything from its shape, colors, and proportions are as accurate as a plush toy can reasonably be. One interesting quirk about this figure's pose is that its left front leg is a little bit bent inward, as if it was pawing at the ground. This, while interesting, does result in a very weak standing position. It obviously can stand up on its own power, but not without a little bit of finagling, and not when even the slightest pressure is applied in the wrong direction. Its embroidery detailing, particularly on eyes and its nostril, are spot on, but unfortunately my figure came with a slight defect of a loose thread on its back. Now, one thing that is absolutely not embroidered, or even attached at the bottom, is Keldeo's chest fur, down here. This is clearly just a different piece of cloth wrapped on top of the body proper. What's more, this dot at the bottom is also not fully embroidered, but it's difficult to tell whether it's stitched on or merely glued on from this position. Okay, I did go in to double check. It is actually glued on. I just realized there are some horrible implications about the use of glue on what is essentially a horse figure. Don't worry, Caldeo! I'll protect you from horrible implications! Speaking of fabric detailing... You'll find on the back of its neck a small tuft made of thin fabric, just stitched to the back. And speaking of necks, now we have to talk a little bit about this figure's weaknesses. There are two major flaws in its design. The first being the neck, which wobbles easily under pressure due to how top-heavy it is and just how little stuffing is supporting it at the base, and its big pillowy tail, which has the same problem, only a lot more pronounced. Sustained rough play is not recommended for this figure. But making it act like a stereotypical sassy black woman is. Oh, are you trying to perpetrate evil in my kingdom? Oh no you didn't! Its material is made of a sort of medium soft polyester fiber, which is common for pre-2015 figures of most types. And its head and Super Dragon Ball Z eyebrows are very nice and pillowy to the touch, as is its tail. And finally, when deciding where to put this on display, keep in mind that its eyebrows do cast a shadow over its eyes. And trust me, eyebrow problems are the most important thing to keep in mind when displaying your plushies. Uh oh, looks like trouble. Hey, Jumbo Stitch! And that's what you get for messing with my peeps. Uh-huh. You was all like, oh, hi, nah, I'm gonna smash everything. But then I was like, oh, no, you don't. And then I just use my horn of justice to justify you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Who's bad? Who's bad? Who's bad? I'm bad. Actually, you're bad. I think we were better off with the monster. Oh, yeah. Oh, you getting back up? Oh, 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 this is going to get for real, y'all. This is a shout out to Joy Jenkins, Megan Cloud, and Bashful Ivory for supporting me on Patreon.
Thanks for your love and continue to be awesome. Also, show some love to my man Steve Sharp for providing all the music in this video. Link to his YouTube channel below. If you want to be awesome and join my Patreon as well, a link for that is also in the description. Got anything you want to mail to me? Just send it to P.O. Box 82, Prospect, Kentucky, 40059. Thanks a lot and take care. <sighs> this is not worth it.